Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, where we're doing a red run on Hero Mode. And we are here in the Tower of the Gods, and we just got the bow, so we're gonna go put it to use. We don't need our boomerang for now, at least. So now, let's just make sure that I have the aiming down. All right, it is like it used to be. Basically, the top point of the arrow shows you where it's going to fly. So, see how the top point is right there on the pupil? Okay, apparently it goes a bit higher than that. Either that, or I messed up myself. One of the two must have happened. I should experiment. Get swinging. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting. So, top point is towards the middle of that. Okay, it doesn't go to the top point, it goes. goes above the top point. Well, either way, it's a uh, decent enough guide. And here we are. That Armos woke up, but we do not care at the least. Yep, go ahead, buddy. So... Let's actually, instead of going there just yet, we'll go back to the rooms that we had to pass by that we can now open since we have a bow. I was kind of hoping for arrows, but I guess not. Why is this here? I don't know why this platform is here. Well, let's get our leaf out. Because that way, we can just not care about that stuff down there. Oh no, the Beemos is trying to get us. Now we can go on down here. Oh hey, who put you here? true and we just go on in so that we can shoot the bubble and shoot the eye and there's a treasure chart waiting for us did not mean to swing my sword but it works So I think I may have noticed something that I don't think was the case on the GameCube. Yeah, we can move around while aiming our bow. I don't think that used to be possible. bounce the camera around with yourself. Hooray for money. Alright, let's just hop and swim over. Just in time. Yeah, 
you can't shoot those until they crystallize like that, which causes issues. So I think I'm just going to not shoot it. Oh, you know what? I think that platform was there for a tingle tuner thing, if memory serves. Like, you could upgrade the tingle tuner if you did tingle's quests where he asked you to find stuff in dungeons. That's what it was for. So, let's crack these and get bombs, which don't really help us, but whatever. And I've forgotten already about that other thing that had stuff. I am good at words. Don't want to waste an arrow on these jerks. Thank goodness for homing ropes. All oh, right, that's a scale. There's some bombs for us. There's some arrows. So let's get rid of these bubbles before they cause problems. I like how the arrows have a little bit of a curve to them. At least on the visual. But first, we must roll into it, of course. Always be sure to kick your chests. And then we hop over here. And then to here. And then this one, we have to shoot from a distance. Which is made slightly more difficult by the fact that we're on a moving platform. But there we go. And then from here, we can shoot this to put that there and thus grant us I believe a key nope a joy pendant we got that for no real reason but that's okay because it's nice and quick to get back so yeah nothing else in here just pots Oh, right, we got a key from that one chest. I was not even paying attention. Which happens a lot. So let's get our bombs out, because we can actually do that right now. A bit too early. Much too late. Right on time. And I believe one of these pots is occupied. No, no it is not. I don't know why I was thinking that. Oh, and here we've got these Armos. The Armos Nutcrackers. So it clearly wants us to play a song involving wind here. But, before we do that, I don't recall these guys showing up in very many places, so I'm actually gonna... Wait, I think we need our arrows to shoot them in the eyes to get their mouths to stay open. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play this. chest, but those two guys woke up. Or no, there won't. Yeah, there will be a chest. Okay, yeah. Okay. We don't have to use our arrows. Alright, and there's that photo. And then he's done for as well. Some good green 
for this one. Okay, that gave almost no rupees. Yay, treasure chart number two. So now we climb this. And we grab one of these jerks and toss him on. Grab another one and toss them on, just so that that side is heavier even after we've stepped on this side. And then we jump across. And we break these open because magic, apparently. Let's get the grapple hook back, just so that we've got it. And now, we actually need our leaf. Hey, buddy. And then we can just toss him across there and then play the song. And then we plop him on here. back to Link doing his best zombie impression, and then we're done here. But oh no, a whiz robe. I know there's going to be more whiz robes, but might as well get a photo while I have the opportunity. Yeah, that's good, even though you can't see his face, like, at all. Pow. And then we just toss this guy on one of those. And then we jump over here. Pile a bunch of these on this side. This side remains heavier even after we've hopped on the other side. Alright, let's go. Whoa, apparently, uh, despite the camera changing when you get to the top, why did that lower a bit? Were we suddenly. Was it that it was counting the thing's weight alone and the weight of me and it combined while I was grabbing it? That's interesting. Alright, buddy, you're free. Go be with your kind. Lasers. And now we can use that to get up a considerable ways into the tower. But first, we're going to go back and hit that eye switch that we missed earlier. Because we didn't have a bow at the time. Oh, and now there's another wizard over here. Could get more magic, but I don't care. Nice try. Now raise platform. And now we can get over here just fine. Not sure what we're gonna find since we already got two C charts. Oh, let's get our bombs out before it's too late.
Didn't want to target the same guy again. When I release and retarget, I mean to target a new guy. Yeah, I think these guys just like giving bombs and arrows. Okay, this will be some kind of spoils. That's what this type of chest is. It's usually either a key or some kind of spoils. In this case, a joy pendant. Because those are super duper ultra rare and you can't get them from every bokoblin you meet. Aha! It's a good thing Link's got strong fingers. And up we go. Like, according to the map, we're only on the third floor now. But we're going to be pretty high up on the structure. Are you guys going to wake up? Good. You're not. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those. I think maybe blocking it causes them to stop. Okay, it doesn't cause them to stop, but it's blockable. Maybe if I... Yeah, I can't just shoot the dot. These guys are a pain. I have used up far too much health to get rid of that for no real appreciable benefit. But hey, I've done it. Now you go there. And you... Go on another one. But actually on it. And I go on this one. And there's a boss key for us which we need to get before they'll let us out of this room. And now they wake up. Oops, got too close. Okay. Next, we have the most annoying staircase in the entire game. Because Beemos. And we've got our bow out, but we also want this. Hey, Cargrock, buddy. Can I target you, please? There we go. Give me a loot. So, with these ones that just sit in one spot, we don't have to care too much because they can only go in straight lines with their lasers, and thus we actually can kill them at our leisure. And they give us bombs because I guess they want us using bombs. And they also give us arrows because they want us using those too. I don't like those ones, but I can deal with them, and I need to drink some soup before it's too late. And now I do double damage until I take damage. So, for a very short amount of time. Until that little pink beamos. Oh, way to get lasered there. I'm glad to see these things target more than just me. So you can actually sneak by them. Which is what I should have been doing, like, this entire time. I'm gonna get out a bottle just in case a fairy shows up. Like that one. 
Wow, that was nowhere near the ferry, but hey. I'll take it. So yeah, our sword's all glowy to show that we've got double damage. Yes, it is boss time, so let us equip our camera. Because that's the most important part of fighting bosses, yeah? And I think we're also going to need bombs. So, we come on in here. Oh, have I? Okay. You got it. Just in case we didn't expect there to be two hands. And look at the schnoz on him. this to be happening. There we go. And now, oh, no, we don't take a picture, we throw in a bomb. And we do that a couple more times. And if you get low on arrows, he'll sneeze them out. Oh, sweet, we managed to get both of them. All this double damage that we're doing with our sword matters so much in this fight. I'm glad that we've got it. Once more should do it. So we're going to need him to sneeze out some arrows for us. No. Thanks. Oh, but he reactivates a hand when he does it? Or both hands. Oh wait, no, the hand just reactivated because time, I guess. No? He just needs to shoot the eye anyway. Here, have this. Kinda have to, this is hero mode. So, uh, how about a heart? You wanna sneeze that out for me? Thanks. So, let's grab that. Yay. And now we go in here. Well, would you look at that? It's the top of the tower where there appears to be a bell of some sort and a ladder that we are good at missing and at mashing our face against and then climbing. So, we need our grapple hook for this bell. And there we are. Yeah. 
You would expect this to be a lighthouse, but no, it's a bell tower. And now there's a that thing to go into. And we're already there. Yeah, I mean, he rushed down that tower in no time. Well, that's kind of them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, sure. Side. And here's Link believing he has to hold his breath. And judging by the fact that he coughed out bubbles, he probably did, but I mean, I guess this is breathable water. This place used to be grayscale, now it's sepia. That's kind of weird. I actually kind of liked the grayscale look. Uh, no, it's because the Master Sword's here. Ugh, fine. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. So, let's go see what awaits us. It's a frozen in time moblin. And many dark nuts and other moblins. This area right here may well become the toughest area in the game for us. So let's actually look up here real quick, if it'll let us. So, these faces are meant to be familiar. See, we've got the... It's the ancestors of the pirate crew, apparently. It's kind of silly that they've all managed to find their way back to where they originally were doing stuff. Kind of wish that we could stab these guys, but they're too frozen in time to get cut. Oh, are you going to tell me it's a puzzle and I have to slide these things? Hey. Yeah, listening. Okay, find the entrance to the basement. Blocked by a mighty threshold, yep. Uh, maybe it's right here. Uh-huh. Right, I need to, like, do this. This puzzle was... Mildly annoying because of the whole you need to be on the right side of the triangle in order to push it the right way. But it's altogether quite easy. So we'll move the camera so that we can actually see what we're doing. And then pull this guy into here. And then this one will give a good old fashioned pushing. I'll pull this side and then push some more and then we're done goodbye triangles now this was supposed to be the first color you see in this whole place 
uh, since this is just a sepia filter, we can see that the carpets are kind of red, and we were able to see outside that this, the roofs were kind of blue. Which makes it a lot less, well, it's still striking, but less so when the golden glow shows up. And then we've actually got color to these stained glass things, so... Um, no, it really is a small feat. A child can do it, because I did it when I was a child. Well, not really a child, I was in, like, junior high. Which I guess is still a child, but whatever. Yep, Blade of Evil's Bane. Got it. Mm-hmm. But it turns out it's lost some of its power, so we're gonna have to do two more dungeons to do that. But that is a kind of spoiler. For, for those people who expected this game to only be three dungeons. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, or no, yeah, three dungeons. Not sure I, how I felt about those statues lowering their swords towards me the first time, but now I knew that this was coming. Yep, sure is bright, huh? And thus color returns. Music returns too. And so does time itself. I like how the ones who were even in the middle of uh, swinging their sword animation just kind of go back to doing what they were doing. They don't follow through with their swing. So, yes, yeah, so now we have two swords, yeah! one of which does more damage than the other. But no, we will not give the other back to Orca. It is ours now. Forever and ever. Yep, that's what it is. And now we have this sword glowy because we're still under the effects of soup. But that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we go out there and brave all those enemies. That'll be exciting. See you then, friends!